I'm Esther Berkey, the passionate creator behind the book Living Without Fear, which has touched many lives and the co-creator of Amazon best-selling Inspired Journeys. If you are eager to explore a world of endless possibility, you've come to the right place. Know someone who could use a dose of inspiration from today's episode? Feel free to share this podcast with them and don't forget to stay updated by subscribing to my newsletter, joining me on YouTube, and if you found value in what you heard, kindly leave a brief review or rate it on your preferred podcast platform with a sprinkle of stars. Your unwavering support truly warms my heart and I'm deeply appreciative of each and every one of you. Thank you for being here. Today, I'd like to talk about state, vibrations and energy. Many years of my life, I believed that these things just come along with positive things which are happening in my life. For example, if I get chosen by my boss to go to an important meeting and be the representative of our team and our ideas, I felt so happy. I felt seen and this thing made me made my whole day maybe also too it depended on what happens the next day maybe i got a negative feedback from a department head or only a negative response by one of my workmates the happy incident of the previous day faded and i felt either devastated if the feedback was very negative or just a little bit hurt, if I could tell myself <clears throat> maybe this department head has had a bad day and needed to let someone down to feel better or this person wasn't very appreciated by other department heads or the employees in general. So that in my thoughts, I put that person down and this lifted myself up and I continued to have a better day. But I never reached the level of the day before with the positive announcement by my boss. So my state always depended on the small or big things that happened to me in the outer world the company or in my little family with the two boys and their father or my state also depended on my health sometimes I felt stressed and I had already a headache when I woke up or I had menstruation issues like stomachache or even cramps or I have had a phone call with my mother or my father which put me in a negative state because they told me that I did something wrong in my life or with my children. And that phone call made me feel devaluated. And I didn't have the power to tell myself that all the opinions that others had about me didn't count. The only opinion or the feelings that would matter should have been what I thought about myself. But I didn't feel so strong enough yet. In the past, it had been a constant battle to keep my energy up, to keep my state in a positive condition and to feel positive vibrations without any special reason, without any special incident, just like that. And later, when I wasn't working in the corporate world anymore, just a negative sentence spoken by one of my boys before they, they went to school or when they came home, maybe frustrated, put myself in a negative state. I took so many things very personally. 
And it normally took me a few hours, depending on the amount of negativity, to get out of that state and feel content and fulfilled with my life. And this went on until a few years ago and didn't stop until I forced myself to always look inside before I let something negative in. Living with two nearly adult sons was such a great opportunity to work on myself, to constantly being aware what was going on in my inner world, to hear the negative sentences around me and to reflect if I really wanted them to let in and influence the state I was actually in at that very moment. The question I always ask myself, do I really want to take it personally? Do I really want to start arguing with my sons? So many times my temper took over and I started an intense conversation or even fight with my children. Very often, I couldn't just say, oh, do you really think? Or, uh-huh, this is your opinion. And this is interesting. I see it differently. And all these discussions put myself in a negative state. And normally, the process went like this. First, I made my sons responsible for it. Then in my reflections, I started blaming myself. And at the end, <clears throat> I told myself once more, you're a bad mother and you're not able to cope in a positive way with your children. Guess how my day went after this. And you might know this as well. Your day didn't go that well. And I was constantly looking for something in the outer world to cheer myself up. And when I didn't find when I didn't find it, my day went on in a low state mode until I went to sleep. And sometimes this feeling was even there again when I woke up in the morning. How sad is this? I was poisoning my days, those precious days of the rest of my life. But you can decide today. You want to change this. You can decide today that you don't want to put yourself in a negative state through the things that are happening to you in the outer world. You can decide that, for example, this upsetting answer by your colleague to your friendly question doesn't have to do anything with you. Well, it might, but in the most of times, it has to do with the mood of this colleague and at that very moment. Maybe this colleague had a difficult day already. Maybe this colleague is suffering from a health issue. You don't know. Maybe this colleague is sad because someone very important died in their life. There are so many reasons why someone next to you doesn't treat you the way you'd like to be treated. And it has nothing, but really nothing to do with you as a human be being, with your feelings and opinions. So why don't you try today and say to yourself when you feel offended or hurt by someone, this has nothing to do with me. It's the specific reaction of this person who has their own story, their emotional baggage, their way of living their life. 
And eventually, if you are in the state where you can ask the person, why do you speak to me in this unfriendly manner? This can also be a chance for you to learn something personal from this colleague of yours. Maybe their beloved dog died. And if there isn't any possibility to ask this person a question, try to listen to yourself and feel what this unfriendly sentence did to you. Maybe it reminded you of something very old. Maybe it reminded you how your mother, father or teacher talked to you. Maybe you felt exactly the same way as in your childhood. You felt rejected. You felt that they didn't understand you. And in this case, you can tell yourself, Yes, I feel hurt, but I can comfort myself now. I see myself. I understand myself. I can go back to the positive state I was in before this happened. Because I want to spend my day in a beautiful energy. And there might be happening a lot of things which aren't great, but I can always make the best out of it. I can be grateful for the things that are working today. I can be grateful for the people I'm surrounded by. I'm grateful that I wake up in the morning and I can get up, walk, hear, see, feel and do the things I love to do. So, Decide every day what state do you want to be in. How shall the energy be you love to feel? Shall you be surrounded by positive vibrations wherever you go? It's your decision. Make it a priority every day and every hour of your life. And don't forget... If you screw up one day, you can start the next day again. If you don't manage the first half of your day, you can always decide to do your best the second half of your day. I hope this episode helped you to get aware of how much your state depends on yourself and not on the outer world. If you want to get coached on this topic, write me an email or send me a message. I also love to hear what you've discovered. Please share your thoughts on Instagram or YouTube. Thank you, dear listener, for spending your precious time with me and being open to change. And I cannot repeat it enough in case you still feel worthless. And nobody seems to like you. I tell you, you're amazing. I love you. And you're a gift to everyone who crosses your path. And please remember these sentences over and over again. Have an amazing day and talk to you next week. <music>